Okay, the final step here from um, when you're transferring a WordPress site from one server to another is to change the name servers um, for the domain name. Now, to get those name servers, if, you're, if your new server is uh, has control panel or cPanel, all you do is log in, scroll down to the bottom left, and then you'll see what the name servers are. So you grab those two name servers, you head over to wherever you host your um, domain name with. I'm working with Namecheap here. Um, there's hundreds of other providers out there. It doesn't really matter. The, and the procedures are actually going to be different. Um, there's a lot of standard control. Like cPanel is the standard for, for web hosting, um, for Linux web hosting anyway. But I don't, I'm not sure there's a standard for domain name hosting. I think um, all the hosting companies have proprietary software. I could be wrong. But every other every host I've ever worked with always had something different. So obviously I can't walk through all scenarios. But in general, the steps are the same. For Namecheap, head over to Manage Domains. Pick the domain you want to work with. Choose Domain Name Server Setup. And then there should be box. There will be boxes there for specify to specify your custom DNS servers. So again, we get those from cPanel, and then we just put them right in there. And that's it, you click Save Changes, and now when people navigate to the to that particular domain, it's gonna point to the correct name servers. Sometimes like the propagation process takes, takes a little bit of time, um, especially for .info domains, um, but .coms is usually pretty quick. So you could change the name servers, and then within half an hour, your it's your website's um, domain name is going to be pointing to the correct IP address on your new hosting account. Um, don't expect the changes to happen instantly, but um, it does happen pretty quick in this day and age. Um, it's a lot different than it was 15 years ago, and it gets faster all the time, especially in the U.S. and Canada. Um, in the UK, from my understanding, uh, it might be a little bit slower in other countries, but the way to tell, of course, is to um, find out the IP address of the actual domain once it's up and running, and you can find some online tools for that, and then you just punch in the domain name and it'll tell you the IP address, and if the IP address mass matches what you, what you what's in your cPanel account, then you know it's pointing to the right place. Excuse me, and that's it. Um, that's all there is to it. We walked through the entire process of moving a WordPress site from one server to another, and the final step is changing the domain name over. And hopefully, there's very little, if any, downtime um, for the site. So that's it. Um, good luck with your your WordPress blog, and have a great day.